Hi, in this session we are going to discuss how to determine out of sample discriminatory power or predictive power of your model. As we mentioned earlier, that R square values only specify in sample explanatory power as per here until 2019. In Smart PLS version 3.219, there is option for PLS predict. So you can determine out of sample predictive power of your model. The PLS predict algorithm has been developed by Shumeli et al. 2016. The method uses training and hold out samples to generate and evaluate predictions from PLS path model estimations. After running your PLS algorithm bootstrap, you can go for the robustness check with the PLS predict. This procedure divided data set into equal subdivisions and each of the subgroup is selected as a holdout sample to carry out prediction at a time. PLS predict run cross validation for each subgroup separately, keeping criteria for the sample size for each subgroup within standard limits. This division of data set into the subgroup is an arbitrary procedure and may cause inappropriate results in presence of multiple divisions. Hence, PLS predict wrote cross validation several times to remove the probability of wrong results. Shumari to the HL suggested running the status of PLS predict at least 10 times. So here the number of repetitions of all are at default 10. So there are two standards for interpreting the predictive performance of your model. First we will start our calculation. We will leave all the setups at default and then start our calculation. Here you can see that it will show that you are calculating 10 for predictive cross validation is 10 times. The estimation of the predictive performance of the path model is based on comparison with two standard scales. Number one is the Q square value. Number two, comparison of RM, SE, and MA values of the PLS path model with the linear regression model. Linear regression model is a training sample module which determines prediction by regressing observed indicators or items of all the exogenous gated constructs or independent constructs with observed indicators or items of dependent constructs or endogenous constructs to get the predictions. In case of a Q square predict, the Q square value of PLS predict compare the sample mean prediction of the training sample with the prediction of the PLS path model. The positive values of the Q square shows less prediction error of the PLS path model in comparison to the prediction error of the mean values and hence display enhanced predictive performance. RMSE stands for Ruiz Mean Square Error and it's calculated by square the variance between the expected and actual observations and square root the average of this square difference. RMC mostly applicable when there are high error values. So uh, for um, uh, interpretation of the RMC MA values you must compare the RMC or MA value of the partial least square estimations with the linear regression model, which is a training sample. In our case, the values of the RMC and ME are same in PLS path model and uh, the training sample, so we can interpret that our model has mediocre predictive performance. While in case the values of the RMC and ME are lesser in PLS path model as compared to the training sample, you can interpret that your model has better predictive performance or a lower predictive error as compared to the training sample. While in case when both of these values or R and C, E and M, E are greater in comparison with the training sample, you can interpret that your model display 
more of the predictive error and less predictive power. If you have many indicators uh, for the uh, uh, dependent variable, you can interpret that. If uh, and if most of your indicators or observed variables of the dependent variable or exogenous variable exhibit lower performance or lower values as compared to the training sample, you can interpret that your model has better predictive performance. While in case if most of the indicators of the endogenous variable exhibits uh, greater values as compared to the training sample, you can interpret that your model has uh, less predictive performance and more of the predictive error. So you have to go according to the, these two standards for uh, interpreting your PLS predict result that is Q square predict and another is a comparison of R and SE and MA values or the partial least square uh, method of uh, estimations of the model with the training sample. Thank you.